what is the difference between using green and red coolant in your car and also why should you never use tap water as a permanent solution in your cooling system So the main job of both these coolants is to improve the thermal efficiency of your engine so that's giving you a better boiling point uh, making sure that it doesn't just boil at 100 degrees celsius uh, there are some engines like most german cars will work uh, at peak efficiency between 90 degrees celsius and 100 degrees celsius but when you get to 100 degrees celsius you don't want the water in the cooling system to start boiling so that's where you get antifreeze or coolant which helps to increase that uh, boiling point and helps the engine run more efficiently but also the other thing that your coolant does is ensure that you're not getting corrosion and deposits uh, building up in your cooling system that can end up uh, blocking certain places so it prevents things like rust and corrosion happening with the different metals that are inside your cooling system so that both of these will improve uh, temperature management of your cooling system and also prevent corrosion and rust building up in the system so now here's the major difference between using red and using green coolant so basically it all comes down to the way your engine is built it's not about uh, whether the red is being used in high performance cars because that's the easiest thought that people go to that if you're using a high performance car then you should go and get yourself a bottle of red uh, antifreeze or coolant and if you're using you know a lower performance car or a regular car then you should get yourself a green bottle of coolant but the main thing that you need to remember is that the red coolant started to show up more when engines were now built with aluminium so back in the day engines used to be built with cast iron which had different uh, you know requirements for it to prevent corrosion in the cooling system so people used to use green coolant which had chemicals that were built into it that ensured that your cast iron engine block uh, did not rust and the other components uh, you know in the cooling system like you would have some brass pipes and different things like that those would not rust uh, when you use a green coolant but as the times went by and aluminium was used more often in building engines because it was lighter it was also uh, very good at dissipating heat so that's getting rid of uh, the heat from the engine it now required that the chemicals that were used in the coolant had to change and so that's how you started to get red coolant but like i said most manufacturers of coolant will write on the bottle uh, what type of uh, metal it works well with so it's always best to check your user manual so that you know that if uh, you're supposed to get a red coolant that supports uh, aluminium engines uh, then you're able to put that in your car or you should get a green coolant that will support a cast iron block so always check your user manual and also read the bottle before you buy so that you know that you're putting the right coolant inside your car and so what are the reasons why you should never use tap water to fill your car as a permanent solution i know that yes there are some times that you know you will have a disaster and you have an emergency and you need to have something running in your cooling system you can't have your cooling system run dry but here's why tap water should never be a permanent solution and basically number one is that it's got a lot of mineral properties uh, that's you know stuff like calcium that's inside tap water and those things go into your cooling system and end up uh, making deposits like scale if you don't know uh, what scale is it's that stuff that you see in a teapot so if you have uh, an electric uh, teapot or an electric kettle at home and you see that white stuff that builds up uh, you know if when you've been boiling water for a long time so that's uh, some of the chemicals that are inside tap water and you wouldn't want that stuff building up in your cooling system and making it run less efficient so once that stuff builds up on the walls of you know the the passages that are inside your engine then your engine can't release the heat as efficiently so you end up uh, you know fighting with your car wondering why you put a new radiator in and it just seems like your car still continues to overheat but you find that the reason why it's doing that is because it's got so much scale built up in the system because you've been using tap water and now the only place where your engine can release heat is at the radiator 
and that's just not an, eff an effective way for the cooling system to work. So it's not just the radiator that releases heat, you also need some heat to just escape from the walls of the, the cylinders and also different parts of the car. But if you've got those deposits building up in there, then it doesn't release heat from those points. So tap water is never the best thing to use. If you have uh, access to distilled water, distilled water has all those other minerals removed. So if you pour some distilled water into your car, uh, your cooling system has a better chance of running more efficiently and you won't have all those deposits building up and blocking the different passages. So just like I explained, both uh, the coolants have different chemicals in them. So you should never go ahead and mix these because once you mix them, then you have a chemical imbalance which can end up causing things like uh, actually getting corrosion happening inside your engine and also uh, different seals and gaskets can be damaged when you, you mix the, the different chemicals. So if you start out in your cooling system with a red coolant, once you flush it, then always top up with the red coolant. If you start off with green, always top up with green. And of course, if you need to put water in the car, get distilled water uh, to top up your cooling system. So for example, if you had a coolant leak and you don't have access to the red coolant, you can only find the green. You can go ahead and find distilled water to just top up your system until a time when you can actually get yourself uh, access to the red coolant or the green one, uh, the one that you need. So that's just a quick tip for you guys. Never so there you have it. If you ever wondered what's the difference between the green and the red coolant, that's where it came from. Uh, but if there's any other information that I left out, you guys can definitely leave it in the comment section as usual. And if you have any problems with your cooling system, bring your car down to Tunex. And obviously, if you want to buy yourself a bottle of coolant, you can get that from our official part sponsor for this video, Auto Drift. Uh, take care, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.